Welcome back to The Wolf Among Us. We are continuing on our episode to episode three now. Yes, crooked. So let's see. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. Snow. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once, and... I'm not yours to lose. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. She looks like Holly. It's not Holly. It's her sister, Lily. She was hooking to pay down debt. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. The open arms. Oh, my God. What is it? <gasps> it's Crane. Yep, that's right. Come to find out it was Crane all along. That shithole. God, we could have known better. But now we know. Now we're gonna go catch him. That motherfucking piece of shit. Crane? <laughs> that's how I feel too. Uh, God, you think you'd know a person. Bigby, you have to tell her. I know. What's going on? What did you find up there? Crane's the killer. What? Ichabod Crane? How do you know? Shit! Crane's been... <clears throat> oh, Bigby, calm down. Everything's going to be fine, okay? It's going to be fine. Um. Someone please explain this to me? That perverted little fucker might be after Snow. I need to find her right now. Okay, it's, it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the trip Bridge. trip trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. They were on their way out. Yeah, why are you drinking Maybe. there, beast? While she's working her ass off, we're wasting money. Wait. What? What? Snow's... Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just... Please be careful. What do you mean? When you tell her. What are you trying to say? You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. Yeah. She needs to know the truth. Or else... She might be in danger. Who knows? We gotta go tell her. Oh, so this is what it looks like at the Buckingham Bridge. I've never been to New York, so I wouldn't even know what it looks like. Why are we here? What are we doing here? Oh, we can move. Okay. You were part of a very special circle. People she trusted and cared for. I won't um, offend you by claiming one day that that the pain of losing Lily will ever subside. This is I important. Know as well as you that it will never subside. But I also know that that the memory of Lily will sustain as well. What on earth do you think you I know, I know, but something's happened. Not right now. No, you don't understand. I'm sorry everyone. I don't get the fuck out of here. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. 
Settle down. Molly, settle down. It'll only take a minute. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here? After you lie, and you say you need her for evidence? Holly, wait. That was Crane. Just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Big B could do anything about it. Yeah. I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me. Big B gives a shit about this. Crane's a fucking prick, so this doesn't surprise me. Hey, what do you know? We actually agree on something. Big B cares, Holly. He's trying to help. And I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. Yep. But this one isn't on him. Why are you here, anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? I think I know who murdered your sister. Who? Maybe we should talk about this somewhere else? What? No, I deserve to know. I know, I... I know, but... This isn't the way to go about this. I don't give a fuck about the way. I don't care I think about it was Crane. procedure. I think it was Ichabod Crane. What? Crane? Crane. Yep. Okay, everyone, just stop. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat while everyone else gets back to the funeral. What? He says that fucking Crane murdered Lily and you expect me to... Please, I promise I will tell you what the hell is going on just as soon as I know there's something to tell, but just let us do our jobs first. Yep. Look, Holly, I know how this must... No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. You hear me? Holly, I didn't even want to crash this, okay? I had to, because of snow. I'll be out of here soon. See that you are. Let's discontinue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. No, oh, this is a sorrowful bunch. That's so sad. Crane. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I can't believe this. Believe it, lady. This is someone I've worked with for decades. This is a guy. He gets freaking shakes when he has to order food. I mean. What are you telling me? It, it's all an act? Just, what have you found? Higby? Um... What's going on? I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like you while he was, you know. The bed was covered in blood. I know it was him. This... Is I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. I thought, uh, I thought that Crane might be looking for you. Uh, I thought you might be in trouble. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Because please, Bigby, don't confuse things. Well, show me the picture. Do it. You took a cab here, right? Yeah. I'll drive. Snow? Narissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be... Um, no, I understand. All right, take it's your time. Something's come up. No, I get it. Take your time. It won't take long. I hope it's a good decision. How'd it go at the motel? Did you find anything? Yeah. Lily was killed there. It was an awful mess. Oh. I'm sorry. Nerissa! Yeah, uh, Coming! 
Well, back to your funeral. <laughs> Hopefully you can remember that. Constable. Oh, no. Wait, wait, wait. Easy now, girl. You know how this goes. The first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? How do you do? I tell you to run, but it won't do any good. Just make it more fun for me. What are you dreaming about? You ain't a fast enough pup to prevent me from emptying both barrels into Snow White's face over there. I'm still hurting, you know, from our talk in the cell. And I'll be honest, I'd love nothing more than to carve a sweet poem right into your face for the suffering you've caused me. But I am a professional, and we're here for a job. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fit to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. Just take a little vacation is all. Don't you even have for to Crane, go huh? anywhere. Just sit in your office and whistle to heaven for a few short days. Are you working for Crane? Did he send you? No. See, now, you're already asking too many questions. Just pay attention. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone, and we leave you to yours? Brother? Speak your mind. Fastly now. You think this act you got going scares me? Cause it doesn't. Always wanting to do things the fun way. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please, rest <laughs> easy. This is not... What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that. It ain't any of your... What deal? I'm not making any deal with you. So just get the fuck out of here and leave these people alone. Nah. What did I tell you? What did I say? Ali? You think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you could just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Hey, calm down, darling. It was just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Polly, don't move. Ali, let me handle this. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead hole. I'm gonna kill you! No, calm down. Oh no! I got it done! You're dead meat. You're not gonna kill Holly like that! Oh no! No, we lost like two people in one freaking scene. What? Oh man, that was insane. Thrilling dude, but crazy. Sad. I was thinking maybe I should have made a deal with them or else they wouldn't have died like that. Who knows? Well, at least I got snow to be safe. So we're good with that. Oh. Episode 3. A Crooked Mile. A Crooked Mile, okay. Evil Town Business Office, the Woodland Building. I suppose I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're going to be sore. Big B, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fable Town physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <sighs> hey, look, my boy, he's all muscular. Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. 
How's everyone else? They all make it? They're fine. Oh, good. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived. So I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. That's my girl. The Titans, Bigby. They'll be fine. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything in moderation. And uh, eat more chicken. Taking it easy is not really my thing, Doc. Well, whatever your thing is, try and make it work better for you next time. Business office. I know, I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White, Big B. Oh. Everyone's freaking out now. I think everyone finds out that, uh, Crane. So, to recap. Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms. And then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan currently. But I, I don't know. That's the plan? Just wait for the mirror? It's all we have right now. What the hell is going on? Just, I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it. But do you really think he killed those women? He killed them. And he sent D and Dumb to slow me down. He's... He was a conniver, a, a coward, a liar. And I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes? Ow! Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Oh. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I just can't fucking stand that they got away. We'll catch up to them, Bigby. You did enough. Can I, um, ask you a question? Depends. It's kind of personal. No. And I don't want to offend you. Um, but what's on your tonight, mind? Why? What's on your mind? It's just, when stuff hits the fan, like, like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. Maybe. Because it gives you an excuse to just, you know, stop pretending. Why even bring this up? I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, hey guys? Yeah? We have a problem. What? What is it? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. <laughs> what do you mean, missing a piece? Yes, it's, uh... Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. The mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. We can't depend on the mirror. All right. How long will it take for the mirror to reform? Well, it could take days. Or months, or years. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. <laughs> we can still solve this ourselves. I know never that Never mind that. Come help me look. Listen to Muffin, guys. Come on. He's must be thinking of something. Alright, let's talk to Muffin. What do you got to say, Muffin? Hi, Mr. Bigby. I can still help you catch Crane, you know. Okay. Oh, yeah? Yes. 
I saw him jump on the telephone before he left. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. His witch? Yes, it sounded like the one he got his snow glamours from. Hmm. You didn't see anything else, did you? No, not, uh, not especially. Are you lying? Why didn't you try and stop him? What do you want me to do, yank on his hair? I'm only three feet tall. There are limits here. Okay, okay. I'll just see if I can do anything about this. You do that. All right, let's, let's see. Uh, hmm. Let's check out that desk, see what he got. I'm writing to ask again that you please send someone to fix the air conditioning in our unit. It's burning up in the apartment and Pinocchio says his skin is splintering. I don't know what that means, but I assume it's something gross. And I'd really like it if you fix the air like we asked you three months ago. At the very least, provide us a fan in the meantime. <laughs> Pinocchio, huh? Alright, alright. What else? What's this right here? Mr. Crane, you said you pay to have the plaster redone in my building after the last incident in 204. It's falling off the walls. Please fix it. <laughs> Alright, I'll let you guys finish reading that. And what about this letter right here? What's that? It's your boat, Crane. Are there any update on the extra funding I requested? Okay. Did Crane ever do any work? Only when Cole was around. Ooh, there's a key. What is it? It's yep. the key to his room at the open arms. You still haven't told me what was in there. I want to know. Blood and flowers. Of blood and flowers. I keep thinking back. I keep replaying moments in my head. Interactions with him when he'd catch me in the elevator or bump into me outside. <sighs> That's weird. There's only so much you can repress, you know? Don't worry, Snow. We'll get him. Come on, let's keep looking. Okay, let's open this up. Hmm. What's that? The office of business. He ripped the page. There's a page here that was torn out. Oh yeah? Buffkin, do you know what was here? The king of... It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, what witch? Buffkin overheard Crane set up a meeting with a witch. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you glamours from. It must be about this ring. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! And I'm hungover. I'm sorry. <laughs> he set the meeting at 2 a.m. tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called me. I called me to... just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? Bluebeard, get the hell out of here. This is none of your business. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? Yeah. We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror, so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. What do you know about Crane, anyway? That he has the stones to kill prostitutes like any common sex-frightened serial killer and not face a real challenge. Look, 
We know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's a sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years now. Unofficially is not officially. I'm heading up the investigation, okay, Bluebeard? That makes this a moot point. And somebody needs to run the business office while he does so. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. All right, all right, let's not yell at each other here, guys. All right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. <laughs> and that he'll be there at two. So that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours, the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. Yeah, yeah. Just point in the direction you want me to check first. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere the else. The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. That has to be our focus. Hmm. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Before you had no interest. Well, you're not going and now anywhere. it's a crime scene. Bluebeard, you're not going anywhere. Really now? And what? You gonna stand here and babysit me? While the rest of your leads evaporate into mist? We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or oh, the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Where are you gonna go, Bigby? Hmm. I don't know. Find Mitch. So you leave Crane alone? Then we'll leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. Hmm. Let's go to Holly's bar. The witch's identity must be with Lily's stuff. I should go see Holly first. Perfect, and I'll go to Crane's apartment. I'll check in with you later. I hope you know what you're doing. I hope so too. We're back at it again. <laughs> huh. Oh, decide. No. Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Well, hello. Can I come in? Come on in, buddy. Brent, what? He's a traveler. A 
weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Yeah, sure. Thanks. What is it? I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix it You with... think I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? All right. Everyone's a tough guy in this bar, huh? Really, you shouldn't drink right now. You should quit while you're ahead with that stuff. I might need your help. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? Well, the doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. And he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Where's Holly? Yes, he did. He certainly did. But let me tell you something. Have you seen her sister's things? What wasn't burned at the funeral? I saw her come in with something, but I didn't see where she put it. Nope, haven't seen it. That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. Talking to Bigby now, okay? Can't say you being there helped things much. Grant, don't start nothing. And you didn't exactly help things by charging in like that. Oh, yeah. Wait, what's that called? Uh, blaming the victim or something? <laughs> Holly and I were the ones that got shot. So did I. Whatever. It's all right. I'm too out of it to get into it. I want to clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. We're all going to have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Yeah, right? yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Grand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. I don't want to get loaded with him. I'm running out of time, Gren. Hurry up. Come on, give me the drink. Uh-oh. Ren, the doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back! I said I was sorry, all right? I can't do anything about it, it's done! <laughs> what more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? Cut this shit out now, I don't care what it's about. Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. What? And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out. And you knew for a damn good fucking reason. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh, yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a low life. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay, because I'll tell you what he thinks. He thinks you have to pay chicks to touch your fat, hairy ass. That's what he thinks. Just get out of here, Woody. Yep, with a jerk again. Gren. I don't know where Lily's shit is. Check Holly's room, I don't know. 
I right. wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the rule. If I can't find her stuff, I might have to. Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm going to pass out. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? What a fucking day. <sighs> No, oh, she's also passed out. Fat Vic. Alright, guys. I'm going to call it a video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, or subscribe for some more content of The Wolf Among Us. I'll see you guys next time.